Hi guys, welcome to another video by Learning Support. Um, if you guys watched the last video, I spent a bit of time explaining binomial expansion and how we do it using Pascal's triangles. But today I'm going to show you a lot simpler method using of binomial expansion using a calculator. So let's get straight into it and let's look at the formula that we have to use when doing this type of problem. So you see we have a, what's it called? A binomial in the form a plus b to the power of n, okay? We don't know what n is, it's just the general form of what a binomial can be, guys. You have a first term a and a second term b and it's all raised to the power of n, okay? So the general term for a binomial so you're going to use this for every single term you're working out so remember if it's to the power of two you'll have three terms if it's to the power of three you'll have four terms if it's to the power of four you'll have five terms and so on and so forth guys so remember if you are if it is whatever your n is remember you need to have n plus one terms at the end so if you don't have n plus one terms you've done something wrong but let's carry on Okay, so the general term is NCR, okay, which is a function on your calculator, guys. It's a combination function, guys. And how you do that is you go shift and then you press the divide sign and then you're going to get the C. And then whatever your N is, you put before the C and whatever your R is, you put after C. But you guys don't know what they are yet. So let me first carry on. So you first have that combination term back there. Then you have your first term, A, to the power of n minus r, okay? We'll get into what n and minus r are, and then you have your last term, which is b to the power of r, okay? So let's go through what each of these terms mean. So ncr is the combination function on your calculator. To get it, you use shift divide. Remember, you put the n before the c and the r after, okay? So we're gonna go into that now, now, okay? The A is the first term in the bracket. I've already said that. B is the second term in the bracket. Simple enough. Okay, N is the power of the binomial. So whatever your N is here, guys, your N stays the same throughout the whole calculation. Your N doesn't change. So if it was your N was equal to 4, then it would be 4CR. A, 4 minus R, B, R. Okay, so just so that you guys know, your N doesn't change. And then R is the term number minus one, guys. So example, if you're looking at term one, so your first part of your binomial expansion, you, the R you're using will be, so it's term one, you minus one, so R equals zero. Term two will therefore be R equals one. Term three will R equals two. Okay, makes sense? Okay, let's move on to an actual problem so that you guys can see what's going on, okay? So now this is quite a complicated binomial expansion, but you guys will see is that no matter how complicated it looks inside the bracket, your method never actually changes when doing it. So we have 2x minus 7 all to the power of 5. So it's quite a big binomial expansion. So remember what we do is that we do this formula for each term, guys. So now we plot this in. Okay, so remember we have 5c and then because the uh, exponent is 5, we put 5 at the back, then we use the combination function in our calculator, and we have 0, because this is term 1, and remember, it's term 1 minus 1 gives you R, so 0, then it's 2x5 minus 0 over there, and then remember, guys, this is very important, guys, you have to keep the sign when doing this, guys, you can't just say 7 to the power of 0, you have to say minus 7 to the power of 0, guys, because it you'll see later at the end, it ends up making quite a big difference at the end. Then you carry on to your second term, uh, you still have 5 behind the combination function, then your R, it's now term 2, so term 2 minus 1 is 1, so then you see 1, so then you go 2x is 5 minus 1, and then minus 7 to the power of 1, okay? We carry on doing this through all our terms. So you see the next term has a, a R of 2. You see, guys? So just remember that R, guys. Remember, it's your term minus 1, guys, because otherwise you guys are going to have two little terms at the end of the day. So, guys, remember, your R has to be your term minus 1, okay? So you guys see what we're doing here. I'm not going to go and talk about each one specifically because they all follow the same method. So let's start looking at how these work out, okay? So... The combination of 5 to uh, C to 0 is 1, okay, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, X5, and then 
you uh, negative seven to the power of zero is one so you're supposed to times one there but i just left it out because times one doesn't change anything then the next one guys okay five combination one so five c one is equal to five uh your calculator will give these values for you guys times okay two to the power of four with 16 x to the power of four and then times negative seven because it's seven to the power of one so it stays the same okay the next one we have here is 5c2 okay it's equal to 10 okay and then that's 2 to the power of 3 so it becomes 8x cubed times and then that's a negative 7 squared and remember if it's even exponents guys it becomes positive so it's times 49 then our last term so then um, 5c3 is also equal to 10 guys so it's 10 times 2 to the power of 2 is 4x squared times then it's negative 7 to the power of 3 guys and that will be negative 343 guys because it's a uneven exponent okay then the last one 5c to the power i mean 5c4 is equal to 5 okay times 2 to the power 2x to the power of 1 is just 2x and then times negative 7 to the power of 4 is 2401 so guys you can see that these are very big values that we're getting you'll see at the end it's going to make a lot more sense and then the last one you have plus 1 because c to the 5 c 5 is equal to 1 uh, this is 2x to the power of 0 so it's 1 and then times negative 7 to the power of 5 is negative 16807 from this point on guys we just um, multiply all of those things that have multiplication signs between them and leave the plus and minus signs where they are guys so then you'll get 32 x to the power of 5 minus 560 x to the power of 4 because of that minus 7 there plus 3920 x cubed minus 13720 because that minus 343 plus 24,010x minus 16,807 because again that minus there guys okay guys so i hope this makes um combinations a bit more easier it's a little bit easier than having to draw out our pascal's triangle time and i promise you if you guys get used to using these combinations uh, and get used to the format in which you have to set out your general term guys i promise you you guys will not go wrong in terms of this session um thanks for watching guys please leave a like on the video and um, subscribe to our instagram and youtube channel thanks a lot guys